Hey, what is going on everybody? This is FBlast, and today I'm going to be doing an introduction on Shadowgun Dead Zone. Now, I'm, over time, I'm going to be replacing these videos because I believe that I haven't been putting enough information in them. So, anyone watching my videos and wanting to learn how to get better, they might miss out on important information, and so they might still get confused on what I'm saying, or... You know, as I said before, they might be missing out on important details that I haven't included in my videos. So, yeah, once I have the time, I will replace those tutorial videos that I've made with better ones. So, yeah, sit back, relax, and let's begin. Shadowgun Dead Zone is a multiplayer third-person shooter which was officially released by Madfinger Games in 2012. Now, you can play Shadowgun Dead Zone on mobile or device, whatever you call it, like right now I'm playing on my iPhone 5, or you can play Shadowgun Dead Zone on Facebook once you have finished downloading the Web Unity player. So once you have downloaded the Web Unity player for Facebook, or you have downloaded it on the Apple Store or Google Play Store, you'll be sent to a menu with three options for mobile and two options for Facebook on where you are going to log in and create your account. So once you have created your account, you will be sent over to the main menu. Now I will briefly explain what each menu, uh, well what each button does. So yeah, let's get to it. So the first one is the game button and it has the icon of a skull. Now this is where you choose to play your matches of Zone Control or Deathmatch. I'll go over um, Zone Control and Deathmatch right after this. This The one below the game button is the Equip button, and this is where you change your weapons, items, perks, skins, and hats, etc. It has the icon of three bullets. The one below the Equipment button is the Research icon. Um, Oh no, sorry, the icon is a conical flask or a um, a cone thingamajig. And this is where you save up your money and gold to purchase uh, weapons, items, perks, uh, weapons up upgrades, and all that jazz. Below that is the shop, and this has the icon of a shopping trolley cart, whatever um, is familiar to you. This is where you buy your premium sort of stuff, like... Um, boosters that cost gold, you buy your skins, hats, um, you can also buy your bundles, but I don't really buy bundles because that's just a waste of gold, to be honest. Actually, you can sort of get um, a discount of gold off it, so yeah, that's that. Um, on the right is the options button, and on mobile there will be more options for, um, there will be more options on mobile than PC, so the difference between mobile and PC is that there is an option to change whether you want to have a static pad or a free move pad. I'm not sure the, the difference between the two, but if you're going against uh, PC players by accident, you can. Uh, it's best to change your, your move pad to the free move pad. Um, you can also, on mobile, change your fire button size so you can change it from small to big but I suggest you change it to a larger size so that your finger or thumb can hit the fire button easily. On mobile as well you can change the layout of your uh, of when you're while you're playing so you can move around your fire button you can move where you where your weapon switch will go you know all all those kinds of buttons and yeah, that's the weapon layout. Uh, you can also make your weapon layout um, on the left side by clicking, um, I believe it's left layout. Um, I'm not sure, but there there is a button for that. On the right, however, there's the inverted look. This is also on PC. This is just basically where if you move your um, forward button on PC or mobile, you will go actually go backwards. So... If you're if if you want to, you can choose that. If you want to, um, you can also change your your display settings. I suggest that you put it on low so that you can 
you will lag less, you will have a better time playing, and yeah, that, that's the display part of it. Um, there is also an experimental fire option on mobile. I'm not sure what this option does, but it, it I don't think you really need it, so that's the experimental fire thing. Below the options uh, button, uh, right at the bottom is uh, on mobile is a free gold button. It is it, the color is yellow, and this is where you can get your free gold, um, because you know at the bottom this is where you complete offers and watch videos etc to get free gold the time process to get the amount of gold that you need is is kind is a lot so you know it's okay if you buy uh gold using real real money you know whatever so that's the main menu of shadowgun dead zone so there are two game modes in uh shadowgun dead zone and the first one is Deathmatch and the second one is zone control. Now, in deathmatch, it is free for all. So anything you see moving, you simply kill it. Now, the simple objective for deathmatch is to come in the top three or to come first, because if you're rack ranking up, you will gain extra XP and cash rewards, and so you can uh, research all the guns, items, perks, and um teamwork things you need whatever <laughs> so that's that um if you already have all of those items weapons and perks and weapon upgrades you can use deathmatch as a warm-up for zone control or you can use uh deathmatch as a means to help you pra uh, help you look at your playstyle and you know improve on your playstyle so that's deathmatch in zone control, however, this is basically domination, and for zone control, the objective is to cap flags for your team. You will only win if your team has kept all the flags, which are A, B, C, D, and E, or if you make the other team run out of spawns. Um, you can see how many spawns your team and the other team team has left by uh, looking at the top center part of the screen it, which is in the colors of red and blue. So that is a pretty br brief explanation of uh, zone control and deathmatch and let's move over to the matchmaking ranges. So there are three matchmaking ranges in Shadowgun Dead Zone. After you have created your account and you do your first deathmatch, you will be placed in the first matchmaking range. The level range in this area is from 1 to 15, and the skill level that you will expect from players are quite basic, so you shouldn't be having too much difficulty. So once you start to rank up, I suggest that you start researching on weapons, items, and perks that will help you in the long run, such as ammunition holsters, explosive pouches, and any gun that is not the bandit, like the big boy, mace, doomhammer, agony, attila, osog, surgeon, you know, the list goes on, but yeah, so that's the first matchmaking range. So once you have reached level 16, you have entered the second matchmaking range. Now, this matchmaking range spans from level 16 to 30, and the skill level that you will expect from players here are from average to advanced. Now, the reason for this is because players in this area will begin to develop, you know, advanced techniques and, uh, you know, skills in order to, for example, capture zones, or they might become more accurate in their aiming, or their uh, movement has become more complex. So I guess this is the transition range from the first matchmaking range and the third matchmaking range. Now, in this matchmaking range, you continue to research items, weapons, and perks, and in this matchmaking range, no, not matchmaking range, but in this area, you will be able to research most weapons, items, and perks, and uh, some weapons that I suggest to you that will work really well in the third matchmaking range include Warmonger, Shredder, Doomhammer, Violator, uh, Surgeon, Annihilator, and also the SS2. So once you have reached level 31, welcome, you are now in the third and final matchmaking range. 
Now this ranges from level 31 to 50 and the skill set you will expect from players here are, f are from advanced to incredibly competitive, making this matchmaking range the most difficult. Now if you are having a difficult time against players here, have a look at their playstyle, but of course if you're looking at a camper playstyle, that isn't really going to help you because all they just do here in Shadowgun Dead Zone is just look for kills and just quit whenever they're having a bad time. So don't try and look at those people, they're, they're the examples of what not to do. So in this matchmaking range, you can do whatever I guess, but there will still be some weapons, items, and perks that you can get in this area, such as the Sentry at level 32, the Redeemer at level 35, the Run 2 perk at level 35 as well. Um, in this matchmaking range, this you, you, you basically reach the end um, and you can start honing your uh, skills on these players. So there isn't really much to the third matchmaking range. So this brings me to my brief introduction on Shogun Dead Zone. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, give a like. And if you want to suggest anything else in the future, comment down below, like, subscribe, and have a nice day.